Film critic Bonnie Lawfer is on our couch, going to tell us what to watch on the couch all next week. Absolutely. <laughs> Good to be back. Yeah. Well, look, you know, it just ironically, everything that we're going to talk about today is on streaming on Netflix. Okay. So let's start with Emily in Paris. That dropped today, season three. People are very excited. I'm sure there's people who have already woken up and binged the whole season, you know. But we've got Emily. She's back. Lily Collins, who's so adorable. She's, you know, you've got your fashions. You've got the drama. Is she going to go back to Chicago or is she going to stay in Paris is who she gonna be in love with you know all the stuff we need to know in that right and, and, and because it's shot in Paris that's why I'm fascinated with him because you can see like ooh, have I been there or well for this, sure yeah. and this season too they really really do focus on the great sites like the Eiffel they shot it on the top of the Eiffel Tower in the restaurant there oh, they got okay the, the city just gave them access, amazing access this season. Well, it's, so, it's yeah. almost like a travel log. Absolutely. Like if you're thinking of going to Paris or, you know, I, watch this season because yes. it will definitely give you ideas. So anyway, I had the opportunity to talk to the stars, Lily Collins, of course, um, Ashley Park, who plays her friend Mindy, and then Camille Raza, who's like the, you know, she's a, I don't want to give anything away for this season, but she's got some drama going on as well. And I asked Lily, I said, you know, look back at season one when you first started this show to where you are now not just yourself but also the character of Emily how have you guys changed and grown so let's have a listen to what Lily had to say you know it's interesting because I rewatch certain moments to be able to see how far I can can grow and come in in the next you know seasons and even the way in which Emily me spoke and like used her hands or carried her purse or the way she walked like there is a very big difference in her confidence like you said and there's an inner confidence this season that she doesn't need to do as much she can still say everything without saying words like people that I admired growing up like Audrey Hepburn like they say everything with their eyes and as expressive as Emily is there is this more confident kind of straight backed feeling to Emily as opposed to this running around um yeah having to rely on like a lot of movement in order to get her point across. I didn't realize that that was Phil Collins' daughter. It is, yes. yeah. She doesn't like to talk about it a lot, but you know, people ask her about it. Of course she's going to talk about it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, she's she's a great talent. She's lovely. Um, you know, I always love talking to her. So yeah, Emily and Paris, you can catch that now on Netflix. Okay. Uh, let's move on to Ginny and Georgia. Fans have been waiting two years for this to come back. Season two is dropping on January the 5th. It's a young adult series um, with a lot of angst. This show deals with pretty much every problem that a young teenager is, you know, experiencing. Depression, self-harm. I mean, it just goes on and on and it's pretty heavy duty. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are some fun moments and light moments. But what is interesting about this is they work with um, a, a, an organization for people, when, the teens that are watching this, you know, I, I, I found it so angsty. Like, I'm not a teen and I felt like, oh my God, what these kids are going through right now, they deal with all these topics. So I spoke to the two stars, Antonia Gentry and Brianne Howie, and I asked Antonia, I said, you're kind of like the poster child for this show. How do you, you know, that, what is the pressure that is on you when these young adults are watching this show? So let's have a listen to what she had to say. It's very, it's very important to not glamorize, to not, you know, over sensationalize. Um, and I say this all the time that I'm really, really glad that we work with Mental Health America. Whenever, um, whenever we include these scenes that that are dealing with self harm, that are dealing with therapy or depression, mm -hmm. uh, we do have a sort of guideline that we go by to make sure that we are doing it responsibly. Uh, because the last thing I would want to do is um, be negligent when it comes to things like that, because they are very real, uh, aspects of people's lives. And if people yeah. see themselves in Ginny and they relate to Ginny in that way, it's very important to me to be able to convey it in a way that, um, sparks a conversation that inspires people to seek help. My whole family. Okay. And the last yeah. one is the recruit. Yeah. Streaming now. Yeah. Straight. Streaming now on Netflix. It's a good action series. It's created by Alexi Holly, who uh, also created the rookie. If you watch the rookie on the weekends. So I talked to star Noah Centineo and I asked him, he plays a kind of fish out of water in the CIA as a lawyer who's thrown into action. So let's have a listen to what he has to say. The first time I ever was on TV, I did a one-liner on a on a Disney Channel show, and I was so scared I could barely, I could, I, could, I had a tray. I was supposed to, oh, I was shaking so bad I could barely say my line. I, oh. All I had to say was okay, 
and I could oh, barely no. say it. And um, so, yeah, 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 yeah. There's countless, countless times in my life where I've been like, oh, my God, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, and you just make it work. <laughs> okay, three great suggestions. Lots to watch. Happy holidays to all and lots to binge over the holidays, people. Yes. Enjoy. <laughs>